Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining my channel. This is Rocky. Um, just in case you're new to my channel, this is where I talk about fashion, lifestyle, my city of Chicago, and just a tad bit of beauty. So today is all about fashion. And I want to say this is sort of a part two because I started talking about this a couple of videos ago. Yes, a couple videos ago. And um, the topic is Zara. <laughs> I remember at the beginning of this whole pandemic, social distancing, everybody's thumbnail looked like <laughs> everybody's thumbnail looked like that. And uh, I got into the frenzy as well and I ordered from um, Zara online. I want to say that might have been only my first or second time ordering from Zara. And what I noted the last time as well as the same sentiment that I'm feeling this time is that they do take a lot of care in how they ship you your items. So there is a bit of an unboxing experience when you do get things from Zara. They do put them in the box neatly, they wrap it, they do, you know, whatever what you would expect from probably more of a higher end place but Zara does respect the things that they send you so there is a bit of a, a unboxing experience that goes along with um, ordering from Zara what inspired me to order from Zara is the same thing that inspired me to go in store um, a few weeks ago and that's the the sort of uh, end of holiday season sale slash beginning of year sale I don't even know what they call it but they have this big annual sale that they have they actually have the sale twice a year but the bigger one I say the one where you get the better deals is in January into February um, so I went in store I found some really cute things and I went in earlier than I normally go in store and the prices were lower than I expected so I decided to go online to see if there were some things that I probably just didn't see in store and they're available online and I did catch a few items that um, there were a few items that caught my eye in addition to buying myself some stuff I did buy something for um, a, a friend and because I just you know just found some extra things that I liked <laughs> that I thought they would like um, so I really took full advantage of um, the sale I also do plan to go in towards the very tail end of the sale where everything are everything is super discounted deeply discounted the challenge with doing that is that the sizes are typically depleted the set the selection low is low and the sizes are depleted by that point but you do find some gems here and there so I am going to take my chance and go in there towards the end of the month early next month to see what's left the very first thing I want to talk about is hopefully the thing I'm most excited about. There was an item in my last haul. It was like a chocolate brown cropped sweatshirt that had a drawstring at the waist that you could um, sort of have like a paper bag waist to your sweatshirt, which was really, really cute. And then by itself cropped and loose, it was really cute as well. So there's so many ways you could wear it. And I told you guys that I didn't know if they had any additional colors. In that particular top, they did not, but they did have something very similar in this beautiful sort of, um, what can we call this? What kind of blue is this? Periwinkle blue-ish? I don't know, it's like a blue gray, but it's deeper in blue than it is gray. Um, it does match my, <laughs> my paint on my wall. Um, but yeah, so this is super, super cute. Um, the original, um, I don't think I have, the pricing on these things, but the original price on here says, you know, $29.90 or $30. I'm pretty sure I probably only spent 10 bucks on this one or 12 bucks. But it also has the drawstring effect here, but it's a little bit different. It, you know, it ties up more like you would expect um, a sweatshirt to tie, a um, sweatshirt to tie around the hood or on the pants. The other one had more of a pull drawstring. So this one's a little bit different. So hopefully in the cutaway, um, I find this to be just as cute as the one that I bought before. I absolutely love crop things. We've talked about that before because cropped items um, make your waist, because they're wide and cropped, these wide cropped, not all cropped, let me put it that way. Wide cropped things make your waist look smaller. Um, my own, I had, it's like a love-hate thing. I don't like to show my stomach because I do have stretch marks, but I do like the fact that it makes sure <laughs> your waist looks small. So high-waisted jeans, wide crop tops is a great look, for, in my opinion, for me. So this I am loving.
The next couple of items are things that you always typically, well, you typically see in my house. You don't always see them, but you you probably expect to see it in my house. And these are message and graphic tees. I got a couple of message tees. And the very first one is, it says super heroin. And <laughs> not heroin the drug, but super heroin, like the female version of a superhero. So I really like that. You guys know I absolutely love um, uh, just graphic message tees. So this one, um, this one is a medium. I, for some reason, don't recall ordering a medium, but maybe I did because of lack of sizes and I just really wanted this t-shirt, but I don't really care. It'll just be oversized a bit. The next one is another message tee. I got this one in a small, and it had, I didn't know this, but it has shoulder pads and it is cropped and wide, the thing that I like. This is like a pinkish brown. You can, probably can't tell, but it's it's brown or tannish brownish, whatever. But it has a pinkish hue to it on my to my eyes here. It says, I don't know if you can read that. Can you read? Yeah, be more feliz. Well, be more happy. Happy in Spanish. And I like that because um, one, uh, it's very close to my maiden last name. Two, I really enjoy uh, the Spanish language. <laughs> Technically, I am Afro-Latina. Um, you, you know, so many things, ways to cr classify um, Haitian people. You, you could just say that they're black, um, just of African descent. They are West Indian because um, the West Indies is, you know, Christopher Columbus was looking for India, went the wrong way and call, pr pronounced that area India. <laughs> and the islands were West Indian, I don't know. So anyway, you, West Indian, Caribbean, Creole, there's all these th things, and plus Afro-Latina, I mean, um, Afro-Latin or African Latin heritage. So there's so many things that you can classify Haitians as. Um, so I'm claiming Afro-Latina because of this shirt right now. <laughs> the last thing I got was a huge, huge, huge question mark. Um, these are some straight, it's a wide leg, baggy, non-stretch denim, sitting high on the waist, five pocket design, button fly contrast stitch baggy jeans. I, that was a lot, and I'm not making this up. This is literally the description on uh, on this tag. It's still too bright for you to see that, but there's a long description on this tag. So anyway, I decided to get this and I decided to size up. It's already determined that it should be baggy, but I sized up a couple of sizes because I wanted it to be really, really baggy. We'll see if I regret having done that, but I don't have any dark wash baggy jeans. Um, it's kind of wide. It's not as wide as my whole body though. That's a good, that's a plus. Um, we'll see how this sits and fits. I, the only thing I can presume that will be an issue for this is the length. That's the only thing I can think of being an issue, but I did size up, I don't know if I sized up one size or, two, oh, I sized up two sizes. Um, because it does come in a zero. So this is a size four, apparently. Um, because it goes 32, 34, 36, and this 36 is equivalent to a US four. So I sized up two sizes, and this may or may not be an issue. We shall see in the cutaway, but I'm excited about that because I told you, you can you can take the girl out of the 90s, but you can't take the 90s out of the girl. I, I used to rock some super huge jeans, and I'm pretty sure if my parents are watching, they remember that. I would borrow my older brother's jeans, who a football player, male, <laughs> grown dude. <laughs> Borrow his jeans so I could have that, you know, uh, B-girl hip hop look. So I'm, I'm feeling nostalgic. I wanted to have some jeans that were similar. The price was right, so I bought these. So hopefully they look right. Hopefully I don't regret this whole button fly thing. But yes, we are doing oversized jeans. So that brings us to the end. Very short haul, but I did want to sort of close the loop on this whole Zara adventure, it's actually not closed because I do plan on going back and I may or may have um, something to report <laughs> what I found. Um, but I am really pleased with this year's sale, the options that I had, the selection. I'm, they are so, so cute. These things are so cute. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree. Um, again, I have popped up somewhere when we were talking before or now. Um, the fact that I did a prior Zara haul, go check that out probably the cutest haul I've ever done on my channel in my opinion you may disagree but I I'm just really in love with the pieces that I got 
let me know what you think about this video that video and if you plan on checking out the Zara sale thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already hit that red button right there share it with your friends smash that like button <laughs> like you hate it just smash that button share it with your friends leave me a comment down below bye